intended for Nosek block. Nosek into the corner to get it. Well, this is two nights in a row. He's been one of the most noticeable players on the ice, Larry. Always in control of the puck, both in the attack zone as well as his own end. Yeah, a great example of what we're seeing right here as he battles one-on-one -on -one and comes away with the puck. He's strong on the end board. Look at that move, and then a wraparound the same, and they pound away at the puck. In front score, and the Griffins have taken the lead. There was going to be a penalty, but Kirk and Porter hammer it away, and finally they're able to jam it past Drew McIntyre, who did all he could to keep it out of the net. But the Griffins finally have a one nothing lead. 148 in the second period. Not sure who gets it. It was uh, Porter doing the initial poking. Burt came in to clean it up. But that all goes back to the great work on the end. Pucks at center, played by Martin Burt. Back into his own end. He'll slide one across to Nosek. Nice. Now back to Furk on right wing. Look for him to shoot that thing. He'll cut in and drive one right on the save by McIntyre. And he'll dive out and cover. Uh, all right. This is a lot more erratic, but... Yeah. If it's possible, I think he shoots it harder. There's Ryan Sproul with a big gun, too. Oh, there There's it is. Burke with a chance. A foot scored! Martin Burke stepping into the upper left-hand corner. And got top. That shot goes off a leg out in front. Never made it to the goaltender, Drew McIntyre. Came back in the slot. Bounced about four feet off the shin pads. And right there, Marty Burke snapped in. It came off the initial shot from the point from Jensen. But it hit something out in front. And when it sat there off that skate out in front, Burke just jumped it in the slot.